So I just felt like making a video. Uh, I, I kind of just wanted to bring my sub in and uh, hook it up to my very old, uh, from 1974, uh, Techniques SA500 and uh, see how well it would power this. And I thought, hmm, there's probably a lot of skeptics who wouldn't believe that something from 1974 uh, would be able to power a 500 watt uh, 4 ohm dual coil or dual voice coil uh, subwoofer from PowerBase. Um, it's actually this right here. That's, that's what I got. I got two of them actually. So <laughs> uh, that's the S-104DX. It's a model number. So it can very well <laughs> without breaking a sweat. And uh, when I power those beasts right there, um, the DCM KX212s at the bottom and two uh, DCM KX12s on the top there. When I power them uh, on just one, it cannot take it. Uh, it's pretty ridiculous, but uh, just playing one, I'll, I'll show you just how much this thing can dish out. And I actually found, uh, it kind of freaked me out, I thought there was something wrong with my equipment uh, when I was playing the song, but uh, there's kind of a, a hidden uh, bit of excursion, I guess, in the song. Like, uh, basically the, the whole reason why people play Bass I Love You by Bassotronics or Basstronics, whatever it is, um, the reason why people like playing that is so they can get the, the really low bass, the low frequencies that uh, you can actually count how many times the speaker actually goes, you know, uh, like zero power and then full power, zero power. Like, you can actually see it and count it. But I found a song here. I uh, love the song, by the way. It is Midnight City by M83, the Patrick Reza remix. Dubstep. Uh, so, uh, I believe the way that I have the uh, dual voice coils wired is uh, in series. I think in series. That would be 8 ohm. I can't remember, but check this out. This is pretty crazy.
this is a home theater sub speaker. Uh, well, the box is. The box is meant for an 8 inch sub. Uh, the sub that was in it. Uh, this is the Goodwill sub that I got. <laughs> for 10 bucks. The, the box, anyways. I blew the old one. So. Well, that was disappointing. Now I look like an idiot for putting this in there. Oh well. But then again, there's only, I mean, that much space at the end of uh, the port here. Uh, let's see. See that? There's, there's really no room uh, for air. And this is the sub that I have in my pickup, so... I mean, if you've seen all my other videos, then, then you you know what I mean. But, yeah, it's it hasn't broke a sweat. It's still safe to touch. <laughs> and normally I would have to have the fan right here on to play anything through those. Um, so I think I do have it set for uh, 8 ohms. Uh, so here's the, the book that came with it. Uh, uh, here's the, the wiring diagrams for it. But I think that's a good video. Kind of made me look like an idiot though when I did that. Oh well. So yeah, don't doubt old equipment, because it can outpower a lot of other shit. Oh, and that video that I have posted of the old Bose speakers, they really sounded like shit, so people need to stop saying that they sound awesome, and it's just the microphone. I mean, the microphone on my old camera did suck, but no one could fix the sound that was coming out of those things. That was a like, full power playing bass I love you. And it just did not sound good at all. So people need to stop saying how awesome Bose is. It sucked ass. So yeah, you should subscribe to my videos. I have more crap like this that, that I record all the time. So Yeah. You should like it too. Do it. <laughs>